Hi, my loves. Welcome back to the Stars Cartel channel. If you don't know, I'm Star. Today, I'm here with a dream. In this dream, I was shown a woman, okay, that was constantly showing me her closet. Her closet was very impressive, and she had some really nice things. However, once I started to own some of the things that she had, and once I started to go out and buy some of those things for myself, it's kind of like uh, it made her angry. She didn't want me to have any of the nice things that she was showing me. It's kind of like um, she just wanted to be able to show me the things that she had. And that was it. And uh, she goes out her way to blackmail me from being able to have them. Now, when I received this vision right here, this dream low key, because I had this dream when I was um, napping yesterday. The interesting thing about this dream is it kind of gave me the vibe of uh, like an influencer, you know, like how someone, what is it, a luxury influencer and how, you know, there are some, when I, I would say when luxury influencer was started, when it first started and y'all already know my other channel, that's what my channel used to be years ago. Okay. When it before, when it was before it was as popular as it is today, that's what I had going on over there. It was more so people that was just showing the things that they had, that they had bought with their own money. And that's what it is today. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, most of, uh, most luxury influencers, they are basically just um, showing what they have, you know, showing what they have bought. Um, and, you know, I feel like it has expanded. It used to be um, where it was more so just people that were buying new things and they, you know, showing the store experience and all that kind of stuff. And it has expanded into people that are not exactly all the way luxury. Sometimes, you know, sometimes people will have like, you know, more so Michael Kors and Coach and um, Mark Jacobs and stuff like that. And then there are the people that are, uh, you know, they, they buy uh, pre-loved, pre pre-loved uh, things. They only do the pre-loved items, which I, I can't stand, you know what I'm saying, pre-loved. I, I don't, I, I, I'm not going to school. I, I, I might, but you know, they, they, they just, their prices are just so outrageous, which is what I'm going to get to. And then there are people that they deliberately and specifically do videos, which I am shocked and appalled about, about items that they bought that are fakes. They not real. And it's like, you do what? Okay, but anywho. I have noticed of how, um, you know, as somebody that, you know, I, you know, your girl like fashion, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know I still love fashion a little bit. And, you know, your girl likes to sip her tea and watch videos. And I have noticed how the luxury brands, okay, I'm not going to say no days, you know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to say no days, but <laughs> they have decided to do certain things that I have noticed are um, kind of power moves to try to keep keep uh, only have people that they like wearing. So it's kind of like they're trying to turn it into a club where only the people they like, only the select, a select uh, kind of person owns, wears, and has their items. And um, I forgot to add the other... Uh, the other thing, the other, uh, what is it? Like, they, see, I don't really like mentioning this one because it was seen as, like, a phase, which was the black girl luxury. You know what I'm saying? And as somebody, like I said, I had a luxury channel going on years ago. It ain't get too much traction. I wasn't, you know what I'm saying, screaming from the rooftops or nothing like that. But in reality, you know, in my personal opinion, um, because of how it went in and then it was phased out, it made it out to be like it was just a phase when in reality, I feel like women of all shades and colors have been doing a thing for ages. This is, it's not something that is just now, you know what I'm saying? And I know that, you know, uh, the media for years has made, um, you know, certain women of color out to look as if they just don't have nothing, they don't go nowhere, they don't do nothing nice, and they are working hard, okay, and living a rough life for forever 
and you know what I'm saying? And they always get the short end of the stick and they always, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they have it rough. And I just feel like social media has changed that point of view for a lot of people. And some people don't like it, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like it, that, like it is what it is, you know, even uh, to, you know, like I said, when that certain not, I can't even call it a niche. Is it a niche? Like, I feel like it's not a niche exactly because what is, like, you know what I'm saying? Luxury, a luxury influencer is a luxury influencer regardless of their skin color. But I just feel like it became a hashtag for whatever reason, which once again, I felt some way about it. Not because of the fact that they are doing what they're doing. I think it's beautiful. Do your thing, boo. But what I don't like is the fact that it was seen as something that was in and could possibly be out. Okay. I also seen what uh, a man, okay. I don't know why he feels like he can speak on what women is doing. But anyways, he felt like he had, he, he had a right to it. And he decided to say that it's out. And when I heard that, I was like, what makes him think it's out? You know what I'm saying? Just because he don't like it. If he don't want to see it no more, he could always just, you know what I'm saying? He don't have to look at the people that got that going on. And, um... I, like, you know, like I said, this is something that's been going on for ages. Women of all colors, all shades, all ethnicities have been living in luxury for years. And social media has made it to where um, we are not only seeing what the media shows us. So we are not only seeing certain things about certain people. You know, just like um, there, there was a time where the only sighting that we in the u.s got of people from africa was the the little uh what was the the commercial that will last for like 20 minutes where they're talking about every penny counts and they're making it seem like africa has no infrastructure and they have no money and they're poor and they're hungry and we need to send some money even a penny a day and it could help them and then you know once social media is out we see they was lying okay africa is doing good you know what i'm saying and you know e even like how some people from other countries view um <laughs> black americans that they feel like they are all ghetto and they all uh raunchy and they all uh do this that and the third and they have a certain kind of mindset that's just simply not true you know what i'm saying and it's just like you know i just feel like social media is so interesting but i just feel like for whoever this is for it's just kind of a situation where even if it's a uh I just feel like you were in a position to where you couldn't do something or you were in a position to where maybe someone thought you couldn't or they thought that you couldn't have a certain thing. And you may not have even felt as though this person was showing off. It could simply be a situation where, you know, you were just seeing what they had and you liked it, you know. And, you know, just like sometimes I think I was doing mostly reviews of certain things that I had. And there's some people that do that. They just do reviews. But I just feel like this is somebody, they were doing a review on something or they were showing you something and then like you got it and now they like, they couldn't, they can't have that. They shouldn't have that. That's not fair. And, you know, even we see it with how the prices are increasing. Um, like uh, it's, it's through the roof. It's ridiculous. Um, a purse that used to cost $300, $400 is now $2,000. And I personally... As somebody that, you know, has um, always been cheap, okay, my whole life, even if I had, like, the money, you know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to just say 2000 I'm going to say even if I had, like, 10 20 30000 I Like, I'm going to be real. When I got my settlement check, I had me some coin, okay? And I, I was not, I was like, no, we're not going to go and pay two three thousand dollars for no purse and i had it i was like nah i'm not doing it i'm not doing it i put my foot down i was like i'm not doing it i may go and buy the purses that i always wanted but i will not i refuse and i just don't understand how even when you have money a person that has money doesn't feel as though they are being kind of like um uh, gouged you know 
I would just feel, I would feel, I, I don't know. I, I just feel like it like used. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? If I was in that position to where I know that that purse used to be a thousand dollars and it's worth less than a thousand dollars, but now you want to charge me three, four, five thousand dollars, I would feel like it's equivalent to a guy that said that he wanted to have a relationship, but he really only wanted to hit it, and he hit it, and then he didn't call you no more. Like, I feel like that's the equivalent to that. And I'm just being real, and I know y'all don't want to hear that, but I'm just being real. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Like, what's what's going on? You know what I'm saying? They the and then the quality is not the same. The quality of the new purses they talking about, um, and some of the uh canvas purses, the logo is off, and they talk about the stitching and the threads is coming loose, and and this is not even you know, and these are, these are like the top tier purses. And you know what I'm saying? I already talked about how people be talking about how, you know, with Hermes and how they got to play Doug Doug Goose to try to get a bag and give them their money. I don't got time. And I'm just being real. Like, I, I don't care how much money I got in my bank account. I'm not finna chase nobody for no bag. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it and I'm not doing it no more. So they've even gotten to a point to where saw a video the other day where somehow some way i don't understand how a purse brand and a luggage brand or you know whatever kind of fashion house would have the kind of power to do such but they have gotten to a point to where they have convinced the airports okay that if someone is you know from certain areas i think uh certain countries you know what I'm saying? You can look it up for fact check because I don't know all of the countries specifically. But there are certain airports where if you are in there, okay, and, you know, you are carrying your bag, they will come up to you and, it's, uh, like, suspiciously look at and look through your bag and you need to show them proof that it's real. Now, I, I like, when I first heard this, I was like, hmm? And, like, what? Why do they care about if a person's real or not? You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand if somebody had to, they went to one of these countries where they sell all the, the you know, the uh, fake purses and they bringing a bunch back in their luggage, but somebody just wearing their everyday purse and they got to be scrutinized for what, whether it's real or not. And then, you know, like a lot of people in the comments were saying, how is somebody that works security at an airport going to know the difference between a real and a fake bag? Somebody also said that she knows of somebody that went to an airport, had the receipts uh, for their bag, and they still confiscated this person's real bag. So, you know, and, you know, other people are talking about how, you know, sometimes they steal in airports. Sometimes they, they do things on purpose to steal and damage people's stuff. And, you know, this is something that could be used for... Um, you know, certain people to feel like if they feel like you shouldn't have that purse, regardless if it's real or not, they're just going to take it. It is also something that can be used for uh, people to steal things that are real and authentic, but just simply because they want it, they'll take it. And you know what I'm saying? What can you do about it? Um, like, I just feel like in reality, when you have paid for something with your money, um, and like if somebody saying that they really don't want you to have it to that extent, it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of scary, you know. To me, I just know, you know, as somebody that I like my rights, I like them, and I just feel like this is something that don't even make sense as to why they're being um. Why, why is it a focus? You know what I'm saying? We live in a world where the homeless population is ridiculous. Food prices are through the roof. Um, jobs are very scarce. And there is a focus on airport security when it comes to purses and luggage. And I don't understand. I, I just don't understand. I'm not able to find understanding with it, except for the fact that, um, you know, I have heard that there have been a lot of complaints from people. I've seen it. In the comment sections of videos that are totally unrelated, videos of women just talking about their collection or talking about something they're getting or talking about their opinions, where there are women that are saying that they no longer 
want to wear certain brands because they feel like everybody, anybody can have one. Or they feel like a lot of people have it and too many people have it and it's not special anymore. And, you know, the interesting thing about it is um, I just feel like some people, they think about it as in you're in a club and nobody else can be in that club, just you. Or nobody else can have it, just you. And, you know, some people are using certain items to feel as though they can look down on certain people or feel some kind of way about certain people. I remember a video I watched of this woman just acting a complete fool at a pool and she was being hateful towards um, some of the other people that were at the pool. And she starts to say, tell one of the women that, you know, um, that she doesn't want them to touch her shoes because these are those are Hermes slippers and I don't want you to touch my shoes. Stay away from my stuff. You're you're trying to steal my shoes. And the lady was like, I have on Hermes slippers. And she's like, No, you don't. You couldn't afford it. You couldn't afford it. It's kind of like, baby, come on now. Like, you know what I'm saying? We live in a world where people of all races and all colors are making that coin. And if they feel like they want to go and get what they want to get, they're going to get it. And the sad thing about it is there are some people that have been living in a balloon. They have been living in a ball and they feel like, you know, they should be able to, um, certain people shouldn't have certain things. And you know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's, that's, that's the kindest way I can say that. And, uh... The scripture comes from Jeremiah 39. This is how Jerusalem was taken. In the ninth year of Zedekiah, king of Judah, in the tenth month, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, marched against Jerusalem with his whole army and laid siege to it. And on the ninth day of the fourth month of Zedekiah's eleventh year, the city wall was broken through. Then all the officials of the king of Babylon came and took seats in the middle gate. Nergal, Sherezer of Samgar, Nabo, Sarsakim, a chief officer, Nergal, Sherezer, a high official, and all the other officials of the king of Babylon. When Zedekiah, the king of Judah, and all the soldiers saw them, they fled. They left the city at night by the way, by way of the king's garden, through the gate between the two walls, and headed toward the Arabah. So here's what I feel like. For this message right here, God is saying for whoever this is for, okay? It don't really have to pertain to a person. It could, like, have to do with something else. But there is somebody that they feel like you can't get something or you can't obtain something. They feel like whatever this is, you can't have it. And there, I just feel like this is someone that may have tried to put blockages up to keep you from getting it. You know what I'm saying? Just like I'm saying here with... uh the influx of people that are shopping luxury, the influx of people that are able to afford certain bags, certain clothes, and to do certain things. They didn't jack the prices up. And you know what I'm saying? They're trying to attack um, people that sell their things in boutiques. They want to attack certain stores. They, want, they don't want certain stores selling their things anymore. Um, they attacking the airports they are you know what i'm saying even attacking social media i forgot about that part that the people are posting pictures of themselves with their bags on social media and they are paying instagram to take their pictures down and claiming that this is copyright and it's not copyright infringement if someone is posting a picture of a purse that they own and i'm just thinking like what happened to our freedom of speech what happened to our freedom like what like what is this what is this where you you buy something and you mean to tell me i bought this and i can't even post a picture of myself at dinner in it i can't go you know what i'm saying on vacation and take a picture while i'm out and you know just because i just so happen to have my purse on me which why wouldn't i i can't post the picture what's going on and you know this haven't happened to me specifically but i have heard about it happening to other people and you know just like i said i be sipping my tea and i be watching and i be listening God is saying that even though somebody has put up a lot of walls and somebody has put out, put forth a lot of effort 
to keep you from obtaining whatever this is. Like this is somebody that wants to be able to dangle it in your face. Or this is somebody that wants you to feel like you could never obtain whatever this thing is. You know what I'm saying? And they have put forth a lot of effort. They may have put forth a lot of money. They may have called in a lot of favors to keep you from being able to obtain this thing. God say they will fall. And they going to fall because you going to have it. Like, I just feel like, you know, it, it's just like, um, even with what I'm talking about, you know, some people still going out and buying what they want to buy. And you know what I'm saying? They coin is what they coin is. They have what they have. They can afford what they can afford. And, you know, uh, it's kind of like, it, it's ridiculous for, uh, a brand to, and, and you know, it's like to, to attack their own customers it don't make sense to me i'm confused you know what i'm saying i just i, I never i never I, I don't know and you know that's what a lot of people are talking about like it's weird why would a brand why would uh like anybody that owns a company or a business literally think to themselves you know what I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to attack my customers and then that's going to bring in more money. How? I don't, I don't understand. But anyways, I just feel like God is saying that this person, they trying to put up a wall so you can't cross over and you can't purchase uh, the bag you want or they trying to put up a wall so you can't uh, go and travel with your cute bag and they trying to put up a wall so you won't be able to do this that and the third God say you're gonna climb right over that wall and you're gonna do what you want to do and that's just you know that's what it like that's the message one way or another you know what i'm saying one way or another you know what i'm saying and i like I, i'm just you know like i said i'll just be watching with my tea and i'll be sipping from the sidelines because the way that the economy is now i wouldn't be surprised if uh you know people decide that they go they they not go buy from them no more and you know what i'm saying i'm seeing a lot of people said that, that they that they they looking at their collections like you know what i'm good for right now and i just feel like they like if that happens they did it to themselves because it is just like somebody that's always being mean to you they obviously want you not to like them anymore they obviously don't want to be your friend they obviously want to you know what i'm saying and i just feel like whatever this is god is saying that god like you you gonna get this regardless and once you get it they they gonna be mad you know what i'm saying they may be upset they may be bothered but god said what he said when he said he was gonna give you whatever this is and this is going to be somebody that i just feel like they may even take a hit to their pride because they were thinking that they were all the way up here because they were able to have something that you didn't have and they was able to do something that you couldn't do they they felt like they was able to you know what i'm saying I'm being reminded of the video of uh, Nikki when she was in Prov and how she was uh, saying that this, talking about, you know, you can't go to Prov or something like that. I forgot who she was dissing. Was it... Uh think it was for me my i'm not sure yeah i think it was but anyways she she did the diss and i just feel like you know and it's not even else straight to her but i just feel like for whoever i just feel like it's kind of that kind of that kind of vibe like this is somebody that they're like you can't you can't do what i can do and you can't have what i have and you can't do this then this is somebody and you know like i said I, it will be different like if it is it's a difference between somebody in a sense where you literally just can't you know what i'm saying you literally like you know and it is what it is you know what i'm saying but for this person i just feel like you are at a place where you can and that that bothers them so they're trying to put up building blocks and they're trying to put up brick walls and they're trying to do everything that they can to keep you from having that, to keep you from receiving it, to keep you from trying to, to getting it. And God is saying he going to knock all them walls down. You are going to have whatever it is. And, you know, like I said, don't have to be no purse because I know men watch these videos too, okay? I don't forget that I know men watch these videos too. But, you know... That's the example that God gave. You know, it could be other things too. But I just feel like for whoever this is for, somebody that's trying to keep you from having something, they putting up all kind of blocks and they, you know, throwing all kind of shade. They may be trying to tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that. They, you know what I'm saying? It could be a situation where um, help is being taken, you know, the, the help that you may have received or whatever is being taken away. And, you know, um, 
Like I said, you know, I'm just being reminded of how the prices were so low and now they're skyrocketing high. And, you know, it, it's just, you know, they, they, they don't want people that may sell it at a lower price to sell their things anymore. They're trying to combat anybody that have the knockoffs from coming in the country. They try to combat even people that are just wearing them from being able to have what they're like. You know, I just feel like it's at a point is at a point where they are basically trying to pitchforks it out and get it down to what they want it to be and how they want it to look. Anyways, go ahead and say, for whoever this is for, whew, go ahead and say, you are going to have what you're going to have. And you know what I'm saying? That's just the end of it. it it's not going to be a situation where it's just one person that have that bag or it's just one person that can afford to have a bag or it's just one person that can afford to have this, that, and the third. Uh, whatever it is, God is saying that um, he's going to make a way for you that's going to go around what they got going on. And it is going to shock. It, it may frustrate. It may irritate. It, it may cause a, a little bother. It may cause a little whatever. But in reality, I just feel like God is saying that um, it's not going to be a situation where you just not going to have just because somebody feel like they don't want to see you with it. You know, and like I said, it could be whatever it is. It, it could be uh, several different things. It don't just, it could be a business that, you know what I'm saying, you want to start a business, you want to start whatever it is that you want to start, and somebody that has one, they don't want to see you with the business because they want to be the only one to have one, and they doing everything in their power to stop you from having it. Like, you know what I'm saying, they, you know, a, a friend group, or maybe they don't want you to have a club, they got to be the only person with a club, they don't want you to have a bar, they want you to be, they want to be the only person with a the bar, they, whatever it is, I just feel like it's something where somebody, they don't want to have, they don't want you to have what they have. Because they are able to use that as leverage to see themselves over you. And once you have it, they're going to feel like they're not better than you no more. And, you know, in reality, I just feel like this is, this all, all this has to do is confidence. You know what I'm saying? It's no need to think that you are only, uh, like how, how you know, you, you're giving points to yourself depending on what you have and over somebody else you know what i'm saying you know um i i don't know why people would grade themselves like that anyway you know what i'm saying especially me being the kind of person i don't compete with nobody i have what i have and i don't have what i don't have and it is what it is i'm not trying to compete with nobody i'm not interested in competing with nobody especially you know somebody that is either not in my uh pay grade my you know my pay bracket somebody that is not in my age bracket or somebody that, you know, is not in my, um, what is it called? My education bracket. Like, how could I even, you know, like you don't compete where you don't compare. You know what I'm saying? And that's both ways, regardless if they up there or if they down there, you like how I, I just feel like that will be like somebody trying to get in a boxing ring and they a hundred pounds and they get in the boxing ring with somebody that's 250. Like, what, what are you doing? You know what I'm saying? If they sit on you, you lost. And I, I'm just being real, but that's the message. Anyways, uh, <laughs> that's the message anyways you know what i'm saying that's the message and you know for some of you it said the sad thing about this is you know the the person that is trying so hard to do this if it is that kind of situation if they see themselves as the 250 and you as the 100 you know just like how david and goliath how david just pulled that little thing back and he struck goliath and goliath fell they gonna feel some kind of way you know what I'm saying? If they seeing themselves at 250 and you at 100 and you're going to get what they thought you wasn't going to get. And it's going to be like for whoever this is going to be easy. And it's going to be like you just literally went around everything that they put like that. It's kind of like somebody putting a bunch of stuff in front of you to trip you. And you looking at it like, oh, okay. And then you just say, okay, I'm going to go this way. And you just go around. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh. Yeah, I, I just feel like it's child's play. So whoever this is for, I'll be here to solve. Y'all think that it's hard, but it's easy. Like, I just feel like, I, like that's how, whoever this is for, that's how you going to feel about it. And it is what it is. That's the message. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Deuces.